So who was your guy growing up like when you're watching, you know, Saturday wrestling? Yeah, I mean, there's a long list. Uh, I mean, obviously, you know, Shawn Michaels is my biggest influence. Okay. Um, loved him when he was in the Rockers, loved him when he broke away. Um, I, I wrote an article when I was with the WWE uh, for ESPN. It was called My Love Letter to the Heartbreak Kid. If anyone wants to find it, it's out there on the internet somewhere. So you talk uh, about getting to work with him in that letter also? Yeah, and like it's a really interesting story of how our careers crisscrossed a whole bunch. And he would never remember because he's just super famous and going about his day. But as a person that idolized him, how we kind of crisscrossed at all these like really kind of um, really, really flashpoints in my career. You know, and okay. uh, the biggest one was wrestling in Grand Rapids, Michigan. I'm, I'm the opening dark match, which is a match that airs before television, it's like a tryout. I'm wrestling this guy who I'm told is not very good. And I'm nervous about that because it's basically a tryout. And we're the first match that anyone in the building's gonna see. There's like 38,000 people there for Monday Night Raw. Wow. They announced me from Grand Rapids, Michigan. Uh, huge ovation. Nobody knows who I am, <laughs> but they, I'm the hometown boy wrestling this guy that's already out there and being the bad guy. And we had a decent match, you know, it's they're short, you just do keep it basic, keep it in the ring. And, and uh, I had met Sean kind of in passing earlier in the day and made me really nervous. Okay. And, and I don't get nervous about anything. <laughs> um, and he was opening Raw that night, so he was in the go position. As I walked by him, he kind of grabbed my arm and he said, hey man, it's one of the best dark matches I've ever seen. And it took a very emotional person and wow. it took everything in my power not to just cry in front of him. You know, and from that moment on, I've never doubted myself or my abilities. That would be like, I'm not a religious person, but like if you're a Christian or yeah. you're a Catholic, that'd be like Jesus showing up at your house and saying, you're doing a great job. That's what that was like for me, pivotal, you know? And from that point on, I knew one way or another, I was going to do it forever. Oh, <laughs>